the J6 pipe boomer was is confirmed to be a former government official. Yeah, this guy right here who dropped off the pipe boom, who by the way, it, it didn't work. It wasn't functional. There was no fuse. There's no way to detonate it. Okay, it was literally pipe. It could have been empty, by the way. It could have been filled with flour. Who knows? Uh, it was basically a pipe with two end caps on there, and um, there was no fuse, no nothing like that. So, um, but yes, uh, the, he turns to be a federal cop. Not only that, the guy who dis discovered it, and, and by the way, the word former is in quotes, air quotes, okay? Um, the, the, the cop that discovered it is a current uh, Capitol Police officer. Yes, a lot of cover up going on over there. Uh, but yes, um, the FBI, by the way, had his license plate number, but refused to interview him. Why? Because they're probably friends. Yeah. Yeah, over three years ago on J6, a suspect planted pipe booms near the DC, the, the Washington DC, RNC, and DNC headquarters the night before J6. US Capitol was shut down on J6 after the feds found the booms near the DOP, near the Republican and Democrat Party headquarters. As previously reported, a mysterious suspect planted two pipe booms at the RNC, DC headquarters. Why are you repeating this? Holy crap, Jim. Jim Hoft, yeah, Jim Hoft. Anyways, yeah, that's him walking. FBI continues to drip out new videos of the suspect who placed two pipe booms at the DNC and RNC the night before the Capitol. The whistleblower stepped forward in 2022 and disclosed that the FBI was withholding information on the investigation. In 2023, the FBI finally offered a half a million dollar reward for information on the alleged boomer. Uh, maybe they need to check who was on duty that night. That'd be funny if the Capitol cop actually turned him in. Like, oh yeah, that's my friend. He, <laughs> we, we, he told me to go pick this up and report it. You know, report it. I was like, okay, we know who it is, but he, he ain't going down, right? <clears throat> the culprit was caught on video, but never caught by the FBI, the greatest intelligence service in the world. Now we know why. The whistleblower, Kyle Serafin, reported in May of 2023 that the technicians who worked on the program told him the devices were inoperable. Yeah, so guess what? Now um, he, no one gets in trouble. All he did was drop a, a pipe, a, a, an empty pipe off on a desk, on a, on, a, on a bench. So he didn't really commit a crime. They just thought it was. And they, they went with this narrative for years that it was one of us. Oh, the DC pipe boomer, right? It was likely just a propaganda operation used to attack DT supporters, planned and sanctioned by the establishment. In May of 2023, Representative Jim Jordan, Andy Biggs, and Bill Posey sent a letter to the FBI demanding an update on the case of the FBI of the J6 pipe boomer. Um, Jim Jordan's letter highlights a crucial detail that has come to light. The FBI may possess information about the license plate number of the suspect's vehicle. The committee's interest in the investigation was sparked by a whistleblower's disclosure from a senior FBI official, which raised questions about the unusual nature of the SBI's investigative efforts. The whistleblower disclosure revealed that the FBI's Washington field office had requested other field offices to canvas all confidential human sources around the country for information about the culprit, despite more than a year having passed since the booms were placed. Remember, they weren't really trying to look for this guy. Yeah. The requests specifically ask for information from sources reporting on all types of threats as the suspect's motives and ideology remained unknown. <clears throat> the FBI then used the security camera footage from the no no Northern Virginia Metro stop to identify the license plate of a car associated with the suspect. However, the FBI has yet to identify the suspect. One of the former FBI assistant director observed uh, it's and said it just doesn't add up. There's just too much to work with to not know who this guy is. Yeah, they haven't even they haven't even looked up the cell phone telemetry data, right? But they, they, they certainly looked it up for all of us who were there. Now there are reports that the operative who planted the boom is a former government official, but the FBI refused to interview the person. So yeah, out of the daily out of the Daily Wire. Um, the allegation raises more questions about the pipe booms, which were by far the most violent aspect of J6. No, actually, the most violent aspect was the uh, cops who beat up Roseanne Boylan, the black lady. Oh, and then the guy that popped off uh, Ashley in the neck. Yeah, those were the most violent. No, not this. Not an empty pipe dropped off underneath the park bench. Okay. 
Um, Kyle Serafin, who led the FBI surveillance teams, told the Daily Wire that shortly after J6, a counterintelligence team met him at a firehouse in Falls Church, Virginia, to brief him on his next surveillance target. They had used security footage to follow the person into a metro station after he planted the booms and identified the fare card that was used. Wow. They even had the fare card of this guy, huh? That fare card then allowed them to determine that the person got off at a metro stop in Northern Virginia where surveillance footage showed the person entering a car. Both the car and fare card were in the name of the same person. A retired Air Force Chief Master Sergeant who was now working as a contractor with a security clearance said. So Raffin, well, hold on. So the person who did it is a retired Air Force Chief Master Sergeant who is now working as a contractor with a security clearance. So this is the Fed agent. He's a vet. A vet on the wrong side of all this, right? Uh, Serafin and his team were assigned to stake out the person's row house for days, but the FBI blocked his request to interview the person. Uh, then they were called off the target completely and told to pour through low priority leads about minor J6 participants, uh, meaning all of us who were there peacefully. Anyways, so that's the new revelations there. It turns out, okay, so he's a vet. Uh, and he's um, uh, a high a high ranking one, uh, which means you know you don't get to move up unless the the, the establishment can count on you, right? Kind of like uh, Millie, they can count on Millie to give uh, China secrets about what's going on with the U.S., right? 